Hey guys, Matt with the, another Johnny with Conversation. I'm, I'm taking a little walk at a big granary. <laughs> like an old big that's, granary. That's kind of funny because you say granary, we say granary. Well, well, that's because yeah, I'm yeah. right and you're wrong is pretty much. <laughs> that's, British, <laughs> that's the American British in me. American. Hoorah! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're on a bit of a, a touristy trip. We're being in, we were invited over to Xi'an and, and Shanxi, and, and, and we're exploring the areas. And I'm, I just kind of was, I was thinking about what, what Asian people find interesting and what Westerners find interesting. Very different. Very, very, very different. different. Like the enthusiasm for them to introduce an old granary to us exceeds the amount of enthusiasm I think you'd see in in America. Mm -hmm. I, I, and maybe I'm wrong, but in, I've been to a lot. I went to a brewery, uh -huh. you know, like yeah, I, went, yeah. I was in Kentucky and I went to, you know, the Jim Beam Brewery. Oh, I'd love to do that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that yeah, was cool. Man. I'd but, love to do that. But that was like disti the act of distilling, distilling. and it was like all the of these process. things going on. But China's got this history that goes back so far, they've got this secondary where it's like, we're not going to show you how the alcohol was made, but we'll show you how they used to do it 2,000 years, years ago. Because yeah. the building still exists, and my family's lineage or whatever, you know, th yeah, there's yeah, all yeah. these ties to the past that you don't really have in, in the West. Yeah. I mean, what about the UK? You've got a lot of old stuff we in the UK. We have. I mean, we're, the, the, the big thing about the UK history is castles and yeah. palaces mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And, and that's my sort of thing. I love architectural history mm. i struggle to get on with sort of artifacts history mm. but but yeah i mean we we do push from a, a tourist point of view our history big you know come yeah. to england come to warwick castle visit buckingham palace visit windsor castle you know yeah they're, yeah they're they're big things and i guess that's because we are also quite an old civilization yeah whereas i guess that's a bit of a different thing for you americans because compared to china and, and and the uk you're relatively young yeah you know yeah um so you don't kind of have that that history like we do i guess do you see it as different in china than the uk how would you compare i think, how would you compare it to the is there differences or more than similarities yeah i i think they're way more into the the history here and they're very very proud of that mm. even the younger people here mm. whereas my feeling in the uk is it's a much smaller amount of people who are into that history interesting so do you think that culture is being lost i do a yeah. bit and it's yeah, 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 like absolutely. here it's not like we just saw a puppet yeah. show on the inside and those people doing those it was a very very beautiful intricate puppet show and those yeah. people were pretty young yeah and they've been doing that puppetry for 10 years yeah we, we've we're losing or we've lost a lot even like this morning we were at um sort of a place where they were showing traditional crafts and there's yeah. people still doing it yeah you know you go to the uk a lot of those crafts are not passed on yeah you know we we have um issues where we can't restore buildings because mm. we can't find the crafts people to to do the the skills that that are needed because it's been lost well the argument to that would be well we do it better now technology is better now but some things you can't do with technology mm -mm. something you know you can't carve rocks with technology and and but I, I, I do think there's a there's a huge difference here. They're they're very very proud of their their history. Yeah. And, and their culture here. Yeah. And 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 they do sort of preserve that. They they spend a lot of effort to try and preserve that here. Whereas yeah. I don't get that as much in the West. Yeah, it's a bit more. Mm -hmm. Although you know the United States has the excuse that we're fairly a new. Yeah. I mean, I mean we're a new society. We don't have that much. Obviously the Native Americans, but we sure did a pretty good job of wiping Reckon, wiping uh, them yeah, out yeah. you know we, i'm not saying that as a pot you know obviously that's uh, it's been a horrible thing you know and but that was a bit the same with the yeah. australians and the aborigines you yeah know? yeah sort of trample on trample on the yeah, old yeah. and build the new you know and and, and, and you know I, I hear people say oh everything here was destroyed yeah. during Mao's yeah i made a video about that re yeah. revolution but that's just just not true you this, know this 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 wasn't destroyed you know there's huge amounts of of ancient history yeah. and culture here that that didn't get destroyed i made that video and somebody brought up an interesting point they're like culture is more than just buildings and that that the culture in china culture is, is in people culture is is the people yeah, you know yeah, absolutely. and that's very hard to destroy yeah that's embedded you know, in that's DNA, in, yeah you know, yeah, yeah for so sure i mean the, the amount of history you have yeah. here so what do you think of like 
can I, I, I'm just curious about comparing the the way that China celebrates its culture and the way that the uh, societies outside of Asia celebrate their culture, you know, mm -hmm. and um, there's just an embracement here. There's just there really is, but what I worry, like in the West, if you if you look at the, the in England the traditional sort of um, celebrations of culture, Easter mm. and Harvest Festival mm. and Christmas. Mm. And I think the, the sad thing is over the years, they've turned into much more commercial exercises. Yeah, I yeah, see yeah, that yeah. too a little yeah. bit. The so traditions to are getting muddled. Here, yeah. yeah. So like there's a lot of traditions that, that would happen here that are getting less and less. And, and I think that's a shame. Yeah. Although I think it's happening slower here. I mean, you know, it, you look at Christmas in England now, it's just a big shop fest. Yeah, yeah, it's consumerism. And, and, and the, actual, the, the actual point of Christmas is kind of that little bit just there, you know, yeah. it's almost gone now. A little it's, bit of religion, a little yeah. bit of togetherness, but a lot of gifts. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get me started on religion, that's not a good topic. Okay, for me. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, um, the, the, we are at this granary, and there's two groups of school kids up on the wall over there. And they're being brought here and they're being indoctrinated and taught about all of this, this old, old culture. Mm -hmm. And so even, even over here, there's, a, there's a, a group of guys that are teaching kids how to separate rice and measure and all things. All about weights and measures, yeah, which yeah, is Yeah, which is very, very cool. It's yeah, like, a, it's like a field trip, you know? You, got, you took field yeah. trips in UK, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? it is, uh... But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think that, uh, I think there is a difference. So do you think that fast forward 100 years in China, you think a lot of this stuff is gonna be gone? Or do you Sadly, think? Sadly, I think it is. Mm. Um, I think there'll be less because I see the younger generations in China are becoming much more t materialistic. Yeah. A little like the West. I personally think Western developed countries have got way too materialistic. Do you think uh, Chinese uh, are more, material more materialistic in some ways? The wealthy Chinese, mm. definitely. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, this is getting into a different. That's subject, a different topic, but money's it's... new to them. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's new within the, the last 20, 25 years to, yeah. to a lot of Chinese. Yeah. So they like to show that off, you know. But, and the, that's and, a different thing. And the high-end population centers are kind of tight outside of those areas. You can go into very rural, mm -hmm. very, very like backwater areas of China where this kind of lifestyle is, is norm. still normal yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what i mean and i guess that's a that's a big difference too because in europe it's pretty ubiquitous that yes. life has kind of risen up to a yeah, new level we don't have these kind of villages yeah, yeah. where people are living a simple life you'll meet somebody in shenzhen and they'll say yeah my grandma lives just like that yeah you know yeah, just yeah. like that old style yeah. and i guess that would be a big thing because as as grandma starts to elevate up, then you're going to yeah. start losing well, the, some of those things. There's places here where the Chinese have built new modern apartments and tried to get these poor villages yeah. to move into. Yeah, yeah. Now these poor villages, poverty people, eradication. They're, they're, they're living without electricity, but they don't want to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they've lived that way of life for 70 years. They don't want to be dealing with all new fangled things. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's. And one more thing about the culture, right? So these buildings, and then there's like granary and, and societal things, but there's also music. You know, that's another thing. Like in Europe, like what did, what did people play in the Middle Ages? It was the harpsichord yeah, yeah, yeah. and like all these kind of weird, weird instruments that you don't see anymore. It's the guitar, the piano, violin, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? electronic music, yeah. But in China, I think in a hundred years, you will still see people playing Arhu and the Pipa yeah, 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 yeah. and all of these things. So, still so thing you will here. still have a lot of that. It'll just be woven into the new, the, society, the new society, you know, maybe yeah, more yeah. Than, than maybe in the West. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, okay, that's a good yeah. ending, right? <laughs> it <laughs> is, yeah. So as a matter of fact, we'll just say hi to the, to the artists here. These are very, very young. Ni hao, ni Oh, I'm 15 years old. 15 years old. Wow. You, you I'm 16. 16. And you play... This is what? This is... 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 Oh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Not This is... This is eggplant. I like eggplant. Wow, Jayo. 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 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And these guys are young, and they're doing all sorts. They're doing the yeah. old instruments, you and know. Actually, so that's the way you keep culture. They're enthusiastic about it. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, that's a. Do you think that enthusiasm was because their parents pushed them so hard? Probably. You know what I mean? Like, like. I think some of it. Their parents maybe, maybe, must have pushed maybe, them really yeah, hard to practice. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, sometimes th that push helps you move into a place mm -hmm. where you're happy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, good. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Jayo, if uh, if you want to, no. Not if you want As to. Always. Go to his channel now <laughs> and shout out from the Jayo Nation. As always, take care. And Jayo. Bye.